Hey everybody, it's Melina from Me Crafty Scrapper. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you uh, my creative process through creative journaling. Um, I have my Faithful Life journal here that I got from Paper Penguin on Etsy. And um, it's got the Tamo River, I think that's how you pronounce all that, uh, paper in it so it's really thin kind of like bible um pages but it's beautiful paper as far as to create with so um i've got a few pages done in here most of this is um bible study notes or just um my spiritual journaling look spiritual journaling <laughs> in general in this um insert and so today I'm going to be using um, some kit products from Coco Daisy, their September kit. Uh, it's called Back Porch. So here are just a few things I have out on my desk. Some die cuts and stickers, washi, the stamp set, some of the papers that I've already used, just like scrap pieces, um, the three by four cards. So we'll see what I use. And um, this should be a fairly quick video because what I'll do is start decorating and walk you through that. And then when I start journaling, I'll fast forward it and then you'll see at the very end the finished product and of course as always I will post my finished journaling page to my Instagram account me crafty scrapper on Instagram okay so I love the doilies that came in um, one of the kits and I'm thinking this was the classified kit that the doilies came in I got quite a few of the kits from Coco Daisy for September, so I can't I can't really recall which one each thing that I'm going to be using today is from, but I do know that most of them are sold out, unfortunately, because this is a beautiful kit. And what I'm using to put this doily down is Art Glitter Glue. It dries clear and it has a really precise tip to it. And I got this from scrapbookingwithme.com. Now I'm not one to um, think that every little piece has got to be stuck down from this doily. So, you know, I'm just every once in a while putting a little glue here and there and then I'll get it um, put down. It doesn't have to be precise in my opinion. It doesn't have to be um, every little um, piece of it has to be glued down. That's not how I am. I am going to take that one little piece that didn't get taken out from when they did it in the factory, I guess, from where they order it from. Now, what I do when I lay down intricate things like this, I'll pull up on one side or on the other and make sure it's down really, really good on the edge anyway. Out here, I'm not as concerned. And I'll put a little bit more here just so that top can be pressed in. Okay, I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then I'm going to cut that off. And then on this side, <clears throat> I want to leave myself a little bit more room for journaling on this side than the other side. And this is just a piece of the cardstock that comes in the um, pocket pages kit. Sorry guys, when I'm ripping paper and trying to speak, it doesn't always 
multitask like I would like it to. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put that down with my ATG. Okay, and then I'm just gonna try to find center and what I'm wanting to do is I want this to hang off some. So I think I will go here and then come up just a little bit and trying to get it center on the edge of that page. And then, you know, I have my grid lines, so that helps me also to get it straighter. And then I want to finish that off with a little bit of um, jagged washi. It doesn't have to be precise. I'm going to put that down here and Again, I will use those grid lines to get me pretty center. And this, this paper is pretty forgiving, so if I put something down, I don't like how it went down, I can always pick it back up and put it back down. It's pretty forgiving. There we go, I like that. And I think I might rough these edges up just a little bit. Where I rip that cardstock. And I'm just doing it with doing it with my nail, but I know, you know, there's all kinds of distressing tools that you can use. I just didn't get mine out before we started the video. All right, okay, so this has dried, I think, enough that I can trim that off. And I'm gonna go back side and get that right across the line there on the page. All right, and then, let's see. I think I want to do a little bit Yeah, this is the pack. I got this Spectrum Noir, I think is how you say it. You have to get all fancy to say that, I think. Um, I got this from scrapbookingwithme.com also. And I think I want to do a little bit of watercolor, maybe pencil work through here. And I will get my water pen, um, watercolor pen, blender pen, blender pen, that's what it is, blender pen. Okay, let's see here what colors I want to, I'm really liking that gray, and then maybe a darker blue. Um, let's see, maybe this dark purple to go along with what's in that washi. And I'm just going to go along this just every once in a while and um, 
then kind of smooth it in with my blender pen and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so when I was doing my penciling on this spread, I realized, you dork, you're not using the watercolor pencils. You're using, you're using colored pencils. Those are the Spectrum colored pencils. I meant to be using these watercolor pencils. Oh well, so when I... <laughs> Excuse me, when I realized that, I got out my ink pads and started using a piece of plastic and just went over that. And then I got my, the watercolor coloring that I wanted. Um, it's still a little bit here, a little more pencil -y than I would like. And so I'm going to get some of this gray again and using my Stamp It Up blender pen, I'm going to squeeze here a few times so I can get me a palette going on the lid. That's just a little bitty spot. So I'm going to just do gray and drip some water and if you've got a little spritzer um, bottle that works even better but I don't right here at my desk so I'm going to blot some of this 
all so it's not as wet when I put it down. And try to get some of that penciling, the penciling marks up some right there. Okay. And um, I may have to let all of this dry before I can continue, but I'm going to go ahead and pick out a few other elements that I want to use. I love the color of these alphas that goes with that that I put down. So I'm thinking I will put some type of um, phrase title something here and always love the feather anything die cut stickers whatever kind of embellishments always love that so i think i'm going to stick with that theme since it's here and do some of the feather stickers around on it and stay away from the owls just for this layout anyway since it's more of a feathery it goes along more with the feathers um, theme I will probably use one of these to stamp my date on and maybe a puffy sticker or two also and then I might use, yep, I think so. Let's go ahead and do that. We can because it's at a spot that it doesn't matter. I'm going to stamp with that gray flannel memento ink that I had out. I'm going to stamp this little blob that's in this month's stamp set. got my handy dandy ink cloth that I have here at my desk. When a stamp image doesn't come out exactly like I want it to. Because the ink puddled in the middle of that stamp. Just because it's a very flat stamp it hardly has any texture to the top of it. So that's what went with that. And I will do some a die cut or something and put it here and that will give you some more um, texture on this side to go along with that um, gray strip. And I'm thinking I might do... There, get that off my work space, and then dab, dab, dab. And I'm not concerned about that because you know it's it's an art journaling piece. It's creative journaling. I'm not concerned about that. All right, and. Maybe another little one here. Just the tip end. Yep, I like that. Okay, and then I'll clean off my stamp. I need to let these dry a little bit more before I try to start 
putting stickers down because they'll never stick if the page is wet. So, we will be back as soon as these pages are dry. And my pages are pretty much dry. We got maybe just a little dampness here where we last did, but I think we're going to be good. All right, I have picked out some die cuts that I'm going to put on this page and a couple of stickers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this little moon somewhere so that I can put this here. I have to hold that up to me to get it a, the least bit straight. It doesn't matter if it's perfectly straight, but I would like it a little bit straight anyway. Okay, that's fine there. And another little die cut that says, Life Happens. This journaling piece is going to be about some struggles I've had here lately. Um, maybe a little pity party, maybe, stuff. Um, and journaling about, you know what, you need to cheer up and get over yourself. And things always look brighter the next day. It's going to be fine. This too shall pass. Then I want to put it somewhere here. Cheer up, life happens. I thought that was very good for what I'm about to uh, journal about. <laughs> good. Like I said, very forgiving. I really need that. I need forgiving stuff. Yep. Like that. Okay, so I've got a little title or phrase here. I've got a small cluster here, and I've got a cluster here, and I think instead of trying to make another cluster that I might just put my date sticker up in here. Let's see how it looks. And I think I will do this one. And kind of maybe Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's get that the least bit straight before it goes down. Oh yeah, that's cute. All right, now, August the 22nd, and 
think I will. I'm usually a, a um, black ink girl on my roller date stamps, but I think I might go with this plum color today. Let's see how this stamps. Oh yeah, we're good. That's pretty. All right. I try to always off stamp. In the chance that some inks might not work well on these, but I found that most all of them really do, so we're good. Okay, now all that's left is the journaling, and I'm going to start that. And like I said at the very beginning of the video, I'm going to start that, and then I will fast forward or cut it out completely while I'm journaling and then just at the very end show you the finished product in a still photo. All right. Thanks everybody for sticking around with me. I'm going to start uh, my journaling so I won't be speaking anymore at the end. So I'm going to tell you now. Thanks so much for watching. God bless.